I'm gonna kill it. The hell with it. Let's do it. So he shoots crap at you. What's up, Space Cadets? This is KG48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 12. We are an Alpha 12 stable branch, and I'm going to knock on wood, cross my fingers, cross my arms, cross my toes, that we do not have to restart again, because restarting killed me, just killed me, experimental branch. All right, so hopefully we won't have to restart. Let's get going. I got lots to talk about, but I'd like to talk while I'm playing. So let's start a survival game. We're going to start off on the first planet here. I love this planet. It's got everything I need. It looks good. Just love it. And um, Seed will be right there, in case you guys want to play along. Uh, and let's take a look at difficulty settings. So I've got all my difficulty settings where I'd like them to be. Uh, I'm starting equipment medium, player progression fast, that means I'll level up faster. Degradation speed normal, food consumption, oxygen consumption, temperature, all normal. Um, I do want a lot of resources, so I put rich, plenty, and auto miner depletion will be false. So when my auto miner's on a, on a node, it won't like take away from the node, it'll just give me like free resources. Um, enemy difficulty will be medium, drone presence normal. I want, I want drone attacks. I want my base under attack, okay? I might live to regret this, but that's part of the reason we're going to talk about why this might be my second favorite survival game ever. Let's continue going along. Um, construction craft speed is fast. Blueprint repair speed is fast. So I want them to separate the blueprint and repair speed. I want repair speed to be normal, but I want blueprints to be pretty much instant. Um, blueprint spawn limit false. Block limit for certain devices false. I will be playing with mass and volume and CPU points. All right. So I think that's all we need to do here. Planet side. Well, planet says we'll leave it medium because if you put it on too large, it takes too long to get around the planet. And for a game name, I think Alpha 12 would be great. I got everything. I think I got everything. Let's go ahead and start. Okay. So the title of this video, I, I haven't decided the title yet, but I'm really leaning towards second base best survival game ever question mark. Um, for those of you who don't know, my favorite survival game is Seven Days to Die, followed by The Forest, and then Imperion is right behind The Forest, and I gotta be honest guys, I've looked at this update, oh my god, they have done way more with this game than I thought they were ever gonna do, we've now got base attacks, I don't know how good the base attacks are gonna be, the base attacks have been there for an alpha or two, I know that, um, and I don't know how good they're gonna be, but if they're good, oh my god, alright? And the thing is, um, they also have, like, a universe out there. It's not just, like, one planetary system now. They have a galactic map. It's freaking incredible. I can't believe what they've done. Um, this, you know, I'm going to wait a little bit, but this is probably going to be my second favorite survival game ever. It's kind of incredible. And it's incredible, like, like, it's not really, I mean, it's known. Like, a lot of people know about this game, but I never get a lot of views on it. I don't know why. I'm just hoping that people will um, go to, grow to love this game. At least the people that like watch my videos. I don't know. But let's see what we can do here. All right. There we go. By the way, if you want to see more of this, make sure you watch the videos. Thumb them up. Watch them when they come out. Every, everything like that. Because I really, really want to make more videos. All right. So here we go. Robinson Protocol. Got it. Um, activate. We're going to do Robinson Protocol mission, which is a beginner mission. Again, I'm going to talk to people like it's their first time. Um you know, watching this game or hearing about this game or whatever. Uh, show text immediately is right click. Okay, right click. Okay, very good. All right, so we need to ac uh, access this. We need to take out all our gear. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. It's basically just teaching you how to play the game. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Is that thing right there um, hostile? I don't know. I, I usually avoid them because they kind of look mean, but... All right, now let's check the personal data. Uh, go right there. The PDA, personal data assistant, right? Um, go in there, and you'll find necessary mission here. PDA log. Okay, got it. And now we got the next one. Press tab to open up your inventory. Okay, and I'm going to consume a health bar and a health pack. All right, a lot of this questing is going to be really self-explanatory. I'm going to skip that stuff. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Right now, it wants me to pick up ore. And we're going to look for these little blue rocks. Um, they could be red rocks or white rocks. These stone right here, just regular stone. That's not ore. Yeah, when you put your survival to it and your you know, hotkey and you bring it up, um, you right click and then you go to resource drill. Okay, I'm going to drill this rock out right here. And this is just going to give me regular stone. Okay. Now regular stone has some good uses. It's not what they're looking for. Oh, maybe regular stone was what they were looking for. Okay, well there you go. So now we need to harvest um, some plants. A lot of the plants around here are going to be protein plants. So we get plant protein, 
You press uh, tab to get in your inventory, go to survival constructor and make yourself um, some energy bars. Once you make the energy bar, we're gonna get a quest to open up your map with the M key and go to the signal source. Now when you open up your map, all right, I'm just gonna show you right here. This is the galactic map, right? Look at this. And you can move around the entire thing. I don't know if, it, I don't know if there's a quicker way to move around, but this is, I'm just WASD to move around. Oh, if you hold down shift, just like sprinting, you can move around a lot quicker. I mean, look at this. This is insane. How far can we go? Oh my god, they just keep popping up. Look at this. I don't know, guys. I think this is my I think this is overtaking the forest for me. And this is the uh this solar system we live in. Okay. So let's uh, press map and let's go right here. Large wreckage, you can see it right there in the distance. So we're gonna head on out there and we're gonna kinda stop by one of these places. Kind of see sometimes there's things to loot in these things. So let's see if there's any loot. I'm not seeing any. Nope, no loot. There's still stuff we could do in those wreckages I will show you later. Um, so you're just going to head out to the large wreckage and pick up stuff along the way. Like, um, yeah, maybe not herbal leaves, but stuff does spoil, so you don't really want to pick it up if you don't need it. Um, but right here, actually those herbal leaves, I think I can eat them for hit points right away, can't I? Perish time, health, food, stamina. Oh, dermal burn and indigestion. They, they're effective against debuffs. The debuffs in this game are going to be really important. They can get you killed. Like, they're no joke. That plant I just picked up is for plant fiber, and um, until you can cut down trees, it's going to be important. What is this? That's a new flower to me. All right, so let's get on over to that lar large wreckage. All right, I'm on my way over to the large wreckage, and I'm going to show you right down here. This volume right here is what you're going to want to keep an eye on, okay? And also, right here, you see the little white on that rock? That is uh, silicon, so you're going to want to grab that. I would honestly suggest grabbing any rocks you see in the area on the way out there. Also grab these little hot dog things. They're plant protein. And I don't see anything else. Oh, here we go. More uh, plant fiber right here. Okay, so we've got a large wreckage here. And uh, let's take a look around and see what's what. There's probably going to be some stuff in here to loot. Um, yeah, there's a personal container in here where you have to loot it. Alright, so this whole thing is just kind of teaching you the game. Alright. All right, there you go. We've got a pistol, um, some pistol rounds. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Put that right there. Uh, we've got a motorcycle construction kit, which we're going to do with something in a minute, a core. Uh, we got some sprouts and some building material. All right, we're going to take all that. Okay. So we need to look at the tech tree. There is levels in this game, and you have to unlock stuff as you level up. So we're looking at our tech tree. They want me to unlock, craft, and place a portable constructor. And I, is that in the base part or no, that's going to be in, let me see if I can guess miscellaneous. Yeah. Portable constructor, double click. There you go. I'm player level two. These are the unlock points I have. These are the required points to unlock any individual item. All right. Now we need to craft the portable constructor. You can do that in your survival constructor thing right here. And then we're going to place it down. So I'm going to show you a couple of the other ores you're going to be looking for. This right here with the red is copper. Oops. For some reason, this is on defensive mode. Um, yeah, if it's on defensive mode, you want the little beam coming out of it to be blue. So, defensive mode can, like, hurt enemies, but honestly, this thing's kind of weak. So, I don't even know. They, I know they've buffed it since I last used it as a defensive weapon, but I, I don't trust it. By the way, this blue one is iron. Alright, so we just made the constructor, so let's go ahead and put that bad boy down. Is that the constructor or the heater? I think that's the constructor. I have a heater as well. It's not just a heater though. Yeah, that's a heater. Um, it's a portable heater slash cooler. Um, if you look on the top, the right hand side, right below the mini map, there's a bunch of temperatures up there. Okay. The one on the top is temperatures. The 78, 77, 78 on top is temperatures. The one below is radiation. Okay. The big number is local temp. The small bottom is outside temp and the small top is body temp. So... There you go. All right, where is my... There it is. Okay, let's put down the constructor. Oops. Okay. And what's next? Place the... Oh, God, we got to place this again. There we go. Now, it's going to ask you to place down your survival tent, and that's great, but I suggest you pick it up immediately. Uh, what happens is I end up, like, traveling all over the all over the planet, and sometimes I want to sleep through the night, and I don't have my survival tent on me. So that might be a good idea to have your survival tent on you at all times. Um, I did go ahead and put everything into here. You could shift-click. To move stuff in and out. Um, they wanted me to make a motorcycle. The motorcycle takes the motorcycle construction kit. Which we got from that chest over there. Alright. Now we need to deploy the motorcycle. This thing's absolutely hor horrendous. But it's better than running. 
All right, so now we need to craft some weapons and ammo. All right, I was level two. You can't make the shotgun to level three, so I just went around and picked up some stuff. You get experience for picking up things. I would suggest you make the shotgun, because the only other thing I could have made is a pistol, um, and I already have a pistol. So F3, we're going to come in here, and we're going to go to weapons and shotgun right here. There we go. And then we're going to come in here. We are going to make ourselves a shotgun. The tab's up here. Switch things. You know, right here is the weapons. And there's the shotgun. Now, we are missing copper ingots uh, for the shotgun shell. Uh, you need five copper ore, or five ore of any kind to even make an ingot. So we're going to go out and find some more copper. And then I'm going to make some shells. Okay, I'm not seeing any copper in the immediate area. So I'm just going to, instead of running around and wasting my, you know, stamina and everything and taking a long time to get around, we're going to do the next part of the quest. I did not need to make ammo. It said make weapons and ammo. I only made a weapon, <laughs> so that's fine, I guess. Um, and the next part of the quest is to go to the signal. It's going to be a hover a hover vehicle there, okay? And I think we just uh, repair this thing, and it's going to be ours. So that'll be freaking cool. We're probably still going to have to find some copper, though. All right, there we go. We found it. Um, control device. Okay, so we go into the control panel. That's P. And then go into the device tab. Okay, and you can see right here, it needs a generator and a fuel tank. So I think we can uh, figure out what's next, right? Okay, so we got the small generator and the fuel tank. And the way I got this stuff was I just went ahead and got stone, basic stone, okay? And the reason you want basic stone is because it's the easiest thing to find. It's all around you. And you can make any of these ores with basic stone. It's not a good, like, you know, uh, conversion rate, but, you know, it's something. All right, so we got what we need. So let's come on over here and let's put these things in here. I'm also going to need some fuel. We're going to be running off biofuel for a while. So I'll show you how to get biofuel too. All right, so we need a good spot for these things. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got to put these on our hopper. By the way, if you want to eat or use anything from your inventory, hold down shift and right click. I, I, was, I noticed I wasn't mentioning that. All right, so we're going to put that right there. And then that was a bad idea because now this has got to be on the outside. Yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty dumb. All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so we go in here, we press P, and we can get into our devices, and there's our small generator and our fuel tank. So now we just need some biofuel. And I can make some biofuel. That's why I've been telling you to pick up those little bushes that give you the um, plant fiber. I believe you can make biofuel with that. We can also make biofuel with trees, which will be a lot better later on. But for now, we're going to use, um, we're going to use the little... Uh, where is it? We're going to use the little plant fibers for it. All right. I got two biofuels. So I guess it takes 10 of those plant fibers to make one biofuel, according to my my awesome math skills. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and here. P menu. Um, you can go to main. All right. Go to fuel manage. I used to fuel all, but it stopped working. I usually like to manage it by hand. And there we go. 7%. 7% might not sound like a lot, but it is um, for this thing. Uh, this thing uses barely any power. So we're going to get in. With the F key, press Y to turn it on. And there you go. You hold shift, uh, I'm sorry, you hold um, space bar to get to maximum height. And you press V if you want to go in um, third person. And why am I not going? Uh, okay, so you press V if you want to go into third person, then press Alt and then scroll wheel out to get a better first person view. I think you can even do page down and page up. Um, because of the, I used to be a third person guy, but because of the, the cool, like, graphics on the screen right now i kind of like first person uh, whenever possible okay so what's our next quest um pda so we are done with no we need detector we need to craft the detector and then add it and i think the detector is one there's there's a couple kind of detectors there's a hand detector and then there's one that goes on the um the hovercraft and the reason you're seeing if you look at the top right hand side my um my mini map up there the reason there's red all around is because of the the detector you start with this thing right here but they want me to make a detector for the hover vessel all right i made the hover vessel just so you know if you ever come in here and something's locked i think it actually tells you why it's locked but just in case um that's because you haven't researched it yet so you do have to research uh you do have to research the detector it's f3 and it's under hover vessels and it's right here as long as you're level three and you have the points double click you're good to go all right, so now we're going to put this thing on here. I don't know where to put it, so uh, I'll just put it right there. All right, I think we finished the first part of Robinson Protocol. Oh, the second part. Wow, okay. So the first part was uh, basics. The second part was vehicle, vessel repairs. And the third part will be a base, how to make a base. So I think that would be pretty freaking sweet. So we need to make a base starter. All right, so they start you off with this um, core, and you need the core to make a base starter. 
Um, by the way, these three these tabs up here, this is this will only show you things that can be placed on hover vessels. This will only show you stuff that can be placed on small vessels. Only things that can be placed on capital vessels. Only thing they, only things that can be placed in bases. And this is everything. So there we go. We got the base starter kit. All it takes is a core, and we start off with a core. So um, the thing is, the base starter kit I think is way heavier than the core. So that could be a bit of an issue. All right, guys, I found a nice place for my base. I kind of looked around here. Um, there's some uh, jungle around here, but I think this is mostly forest. It is a little bit close to the Talon. Or I think that's the Talon. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, yeah, that's Talon. Green is Talon. It's a little close to the Talon, but we should be all right here. We should be all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my block, my uh, base starter. And I think... Um, is that a good spot or should I go down? Nah, I think that's a good spot. Kind of go over here a little bit. And I think right there. There we go. We now have a base. Congratulations. Okay, so now we got to power our base. We could do, um, oh, they want me to do solar panels, huh? Okay. Another thing I like about this base is it's kind of like in the middle. And I could maybe set up some solar panels to, you know, the sun, I don't know how the sun works in this game. But assuming it does come straight over the equator, I should have a pretty good chance to get a good amount of power here uh, with solar panels so let's go ahead and put this bad boy down and we're going to need a generator capacitor generator or capacitor okay i'm not going to do a capacitor capacitor is for solar panel stuff i will get in the solar panel but not right off the bat let me go ahead and make a generator and a tank all right at this point you're probably going to want to get some fuel and the way to get fuel is through plant fibers right uh the thing is picking up plant fibers is extremely inefficient so what we're going to do is we're going to go for logs um from trees because trees can uh trees will give you plant fibers now you got to be careful when you do this because the the logs you get from trees are extremely heavy okay so what i did was i came here and i put this thing on defensive mode and you shoot the tree for a while and it should drop some logs or maybe one in my inventory yeah they go directly in your inventory okay so you come over here you turn them into fuel basically um that's probably your best bet um i went ahead and made a bunch of concrete blocks now these things are extremely heavy so i'm only gonna be able to hold four at a time so that's fun so we're going to go ahead and put that in there, and we're going to start building a platform. Uh, concrete's the best thing to work with in early game because you just have a, you have the stone anyway, right? So might as well make the concrete. Now I've been digging in here, um, and I'm going to eventually put my base in there, but I think for the first thing, I'm going to assume I'm not going to get attacked for a little while. Hopefully. We'll see. If I get attacked early, I could be in trouble. But if you press P menu and you come into your base, you know, this is your base control unit and you go to statistics it'll tell you what your chances of being attacked are base attacks right and it looks like i'm very low chance of being attacked um and actually the xerox don't seem like they're going to attack me at all uh so if they get to this core you're screwed okay so protect your core but i'm going to build stuff out here for a very specific reason because it's so hard to move concrete blocks around because they're so heavy uh what i want to do is i want to get down a um I want to get the base started outside, and I want to put down a um, a storage container because once the storage container is down, you can link into it, and you can you can fit like a, a, a bunch of concrete blocks in there, and you can build out of the storage container. Um, you'll see what I mean. It's really really cool. So I have everything I want to put down in here, but one thing I want to show you I haven't shown you yet, and I almost forgot is um, you can use anytime you're playing this game, you can use a drone for drilling, which is really really cool. So check this out. F five. Eh. F5, there you go. You get a little drone. And, and basically what it'll do is it'll help you get to places you can't normally get. Like, once we start finding, like, iron deposits, you know, um, what else? Uh, silicon deposits and copper deposits, we will be digging with the drone into the ground. It's just, it's so much easier. You can also build with it, which is really cool. Okay, so let's come on over here and let's place everything down. Um, if you get too close uh, to the reactor... Or the generator, you will get, like, radiation and heat and stuff, which is kind of annoying. But for now, we're just going to put it right there because that's fine. All right, so we just built their base up. Uh, we need to add a constructor and add a cargo container. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we do need a constructor for the cargo container. Totally forgot about that. Um, so we need to spec into the constructor. Yep, there we go. Small constructor, F3. Go to base. I'm starting to run out of points here, too. So I'm going to have to go out and get some experience at some point. Small constructor. And let's go ahead and build that bad boy. I already made the storage container. So all we need is the small constructor and we will be good to go. Oh, I hear something out there. Okay. Those are um, kind of friendly aliens. I don't think they're going to mess with me. 
Um, hopefully not. All right, let's go ahead and place the constructor down. I'm just kind of putting the stuff down wherever for now. Uh, when you put down these, uh, these cargo boxes, you could choose a shape, but the shape is not all that matters. Um, the bigger shape cargo boxes will hold more. You could see um, right there, it tells you um, how much more it holds uh, for volume capacity. So we're going to go ahead and use this one because I think it looks pretty cool. And just put it right there. Okay, what's next? Uh, access constructor. Got it. So when you access the constructor, um, you get to choose its input and its output. We only have one cargo box, so that's going to be an easy choice. All right, what's next? Come on, work with me. Are we done? Oh, self-defense. Okay, so we need to make turrets. Yeah, that is important. Let's make some turrets. All right, in order to make the turrets, I need to be level five. So I need to go out and get some experience. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick vegetation and I'm going to look for innocent animals to shoot. I'm sorry about shooting the innocent animals, um, you know, but I need my levels. This guy might be a little tough for me. I think I'm going to leave him alone. I, I think I can kill him, but I'm not 100% sure. All I got is a sh all I got is a shotgun and like 30 shotgun shells. So we're going to look for something that won't fight back that'll um, preferably just run away or at least be easier to kill. I think there might be some out here. I'm not seeing any. Another really important tip. If you want to pause the game, the pause break key on your keypad will do it. And you wonder why I like the shotgun so much? Check this out. One shot. Boom! Oh. Well, if I hit him, it would have been one shot. There you go. And you're done. Okay. And then we get some meat from them. Make sure that nothing's attacking us because there is some uh, some other guys in this area that are not these guys. I don't think they, they don't seem to attack though. I guess they're friendly unless you attack them. How close are we to level five? Getting pretty close. So let me get level five. We gotta go back and make some turrets. All right, guys. So there's two types of turrets um, that I can make right now. There is anti-personnel turrets, and those are for like guys who come inside your base. And there's projectile turrets where more to shoot down stuff. Although these things will attack people on the ground as well. It's more to shoot down. Um, stuff in the air, uh, but if you look right here, you need all right. Look at down here. All right, that's survival constructor color code, portable color code, small constructor color code. Each one has a color code, and I only have a small constructor. Okay, and as you can see right here, the color codes are not on either of these. I'm either a large constructor or an advanced constructor. Okay, so what I did was I powered up my base. I made myself an advanced. Well, I'm gonna make myself an advanced constructor. I leave the um construct uh the small constructor off to save power when it's not being used. And while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna come up here into my storage box. Now with the storage box, you hit this little connector container thing and everything goes yellow. You drag the blocks down here, and now you can go around and build at those blocks um without like having to deal with the weight issues. If you want to use your drone, it goes back to your regular hotbar. You simply hit T and then number one, and you could build with all those blocks. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I need enough room here for a large constructor. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to put down some blocks, and we're going to make a large constructor. And we're going to put it down. And then we're going to make our turrets. I'm not stopping this video until we're done with Robinson Protocol, darn it. Okay, in order for me to make those turrets, I'm going to need a lot of material. So it's, you know, the rocks on the surface are not going to do it anymore. I have to find deposits, okay? Now, the way you find deposits is, remember that uh, detector I put in my uh, machine? It's number one. You hit number one, and then you left click, and it will show you a lot of stuff on the map, okay? See right here? This is what it, it says. It's a resource. You got to go, like, drive over it, and then it'll tell you what resource it is once, you dri once you've driven over it. I found um, two copper deposits, a silicon deposit. Unfortunately, these are by a spider nest, so I'm going to take that out eventually, and an iron deposit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the iron deposit, and I'm going to show you how to mine it out. It's going to be a long video, man. It's going to be a long video. All right. So there we go with the iron deposit. Let's just get over there. Let's mine some iron. I can only carry so much stuff. So i got to be careful what I'm carrying. Uh, this is what I've got in my inventory so far. 30, 38. Uh, we're just going to fill up on iron and then go back to base. So what you do is you go to the deposit. And sometimes the deposit disappears. So I like to click it again. And then it should pop back up. Although it, it's not for some reason. Oh, there it is. I see it. All right. So I, I suggest you click the little thing right before you go down just so it refreshes. Because sometimes when I get out of here and I go... Because I'm going to drill with my... Um, I'm going to drill with my, my drone. F5 uh, brings up the drone. And sometimes that iron deposit thing will disappear. And it's hard to find. When you're in the drone, press tab twice. And then you'll be able to you'll bring up your your mini map. That way you can see if any enemies are in the area. 
Um, I'm pretty safe right here. This is like a newbie area. But when you're in like more dangerous areas, there will be drones that are flying. And, um, you know, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been down here uh, mining out like this and a drone attacked and destroyed my, my hover vessel. It hasn't happened recently because I do this trick, but it's happened and um, it's not fun. All right, I was just uh, doing some stuff. I actually finished the um, quest line by mistake uh, by placing stuff down. Uh, and then there was another quest line. This quest line right now is completely new to me. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, Commander, uh, just for your reference, I've been storing our se uh, sensor and event log since Apollon uh, station in the database. Do you wish to retrieve them now? I'm going to say not now. I'm assuming I can do that later. Affirmative, I'll continue saving data until you're ready. Okay. Uh, all right. Thanks, IDA. So, yeah, I didn't want to do that right now. What I want to do is I want to sleep through the night so you guys can see, and then I'm going to finish up this episode. <laughs> um, I wanted to get through all of Robinson Protocol, uh, and I think I did. I don't know if the next one is a Robinson Protocol mission. Oh, yeah, the next one's right here, starting your journey. Um, you barely escaped. Uh, you know what? We'll get into this next episode. Let's hold on to that for next episode. We got through Robinson Protocol, and that's what I really wanted to do. Um, I did place one of the... One of the turrets down, just because I wanted to know what kind of ammo I needed for it. Um, seems like we ran out of power during the night, because we do not have enough power for this place. But we do have a good amount of um, of power at this point. So let's go ahead and put half of these in here. That'll be good enough for the time being. Um, this thing's done, so we're going to turn that off. And this thing's done, so we're going to... That's already off. Okay, great. We need to leave the um, this base on, because at this point, we could be attacked, I think. And our turrets won't work if our base isn't on. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here. We're going to grab... You know what we could do? Um, and, all right. So up here on the top left-hand side is my player inventory. I could set that to base inventory and then set it to ammo box. I made an ammo box and I placed it down. And then we're just going to put all our ammo in the ammo box. I placed the ammo box right there. Great. And then we're going to come on in here. We're going to connect up with the storage. And we're going to grab the other projectile turret. I went ahead and made some spots for the turrets up here. Okay. Now, you can use the original turret setup, which I think is a cannon turret, but I, I like to right-click and use minigun turret because, I don't know, I just like them better. All right. There we go. And then what I like to do is I go in here. I go to devices. Um, let's go ahead and auto-group everything. And then we're going to go into turrets. And we're going to go to the first turret. Um, Predator alien. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, I see what's going on there. Okay, so that turret is shooting at an alien. A predator alien. Oh, crap. No, that's not good right there. That guy's no joke. Actually, you know what? Keep shooting at him. Yeah, you see that thing right there? That bug? That bug is nasty. Really, really nasty. Um, Is he dead? He's not dead. Why'd you stop shooting? Does he not have the angle anymore? Yeah, he didn't have the angle. He's taking a lot of shots to kill him. Good. Kill him. Kill him dead. Yeah, that thing's no joke, man. Alright, maybe we'll put both of them on. Um, usually I don't like them shooting at those things, but you know what? Actually, maybe I do want them shooting at them. There we go. Okay, see, he, he doesn't have the angle. That's the problem. So this is going to be a problem. These guys do not have the angle if anything is running up below me. So I do need to get some kind of uh, defenses underneath me. All right, is that thing going to get killed or what? I'm going to kill it to hell with it. Let's do it. See, so he shoots crap at you. There we go. I'm surprised my turret had such a hard time killing me. It didn't seem that hard. It's kind of gross, too. I'm going to take all this stuff. And that's a hell of a way to end the episode. Guys, I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you haven't enjoyed the video and you want to see more of Imperion, God, I hope you do. This is, I'm going to call it, this is the second best survival game ever, in my opinion. Um, that could change as I go along. Maybe the maybe maybe the later part of the game, the mid and end game, is not as exciting as I think. And maybe um, I will change my mind about that. But as of right now, I think this is officially taken over the forest. Um... Still love the forest. I mean, this could, you could consider this tied with the forest, maybe. You know, on any given day, maybe I would like one more than the other. I don't know. But as of right now, I think this is my second favorite survival game ever. And I hope you guys enjoy it, too. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.